Hello StarCraft fans, I am Mimchi Kino, and this is game number three in a best of three between Hui from Clan Storm and Sin from Clan Fanatic. And uh, Sin is our blue Zerg player in the top right part of Zell Naga Caverns. And the bottom left part of the map here is Hui Storm is our uh, teal, lively Protoss player, however you want to call it. Now we're tied at 1-1 so far in the series. Uh, Sin going with a really uh, quite aggressive Zergling and Roach play with the drops thrown in there. He likes to go for those two prong attacks, uh, drop those Zerglings and Roaches in the main, and then coming in from the side, usually towards the expansion, to take out uh, the expansion or kill probes or whatnot from the side. So we're going for uh, another safe opening here from Sin. Gonna get gas, gonna get spawning pool up and going. As opposed to going hatch first, I really like the style of play from a Zerg player. Unless you're on some type of really crazy map uh, that's just like super long, I really just think hatch first or, or hatch first is kind of risky because if your opponent does decide to uh, scout and uh, decides to go for a forge after they make a gateway, he can basically just cannon you and force you to uh, force you to uh, just cancel that hatchery because it's not too complicated to throw down a forge if you see hatchery first and then throw down a pylon or a cannon and of course I would easily sacrifice one pylon and one cannon to have a zerg player cancel the expansion uh, just because the amount of time it takes to uh, rebuild that expansion really slows down, and slows down their production Sin is going to come out here and do some scouting uh, so he's going to be able to get in there, yep this uh, Zell isn't finished yet and Hui's already got his second gas started so uh, so far, it looks like it's going to be pretty same, pretty much of the same for Hui. Got some quickly transferring some probes over there to that gas, and soon it's going to start chewing on this pylon. Uh, of course, that's a drone's second favorite food after uh, mineral fields. I guess it's probably his third favorite food after mineral fields and Vespian gas. <laughs> it's just be a pylon. It looks like a giant piece of mineral. Look at that. It looks like a giant crystal. Uh, but uh, Hui's going to go for a. Is that a. That's an interesting position there. Uh, that's definitely walled in there, but I guess he just wants to put it there for uh, sake. And uh, this bouncer Zelt's is going to keep those zerglings out, and that probe just barely made it back home with two life left. And uh, he he better not we'll go back out there again. He's going to get killed. And looks like he's going back out there. Now he's going to change it hard. He's like, you know what? I think I'm not going to go back out there. And uh, it's like this drone is still alive somehow. That soccer needs to do his job and clean up the mess that is that zerg. In his base, Zerglings just coming up here, doing a little sneak peek. Is he chrono boosting that uh, warp gate tech? No, he's not. Twilight Council coming up, and three gateways. So we may see who we go for a Blink Stalker play this game. Now we saw him get a Stalker. Okay, yeah, definitely. I think we're definitely gonna see Blink Stalker play. We saw a Stalker come out second instead of uh, instead of a Sentry, and we have another Stalker coming out. So uh, I'm more more and more I'm thinking this is definitely gonna be a Blink Stalker play. Uh, and another soccer coming out, so yeah, I think he's definitely going to go with Blink Soccer play. And a little bit changing up, changing it up a little bit here. Uh, now, we know Sin likes to go with uh, the Zergling Roach combination, and uh, if he can do a lot of damage before uh, Roach Speed gets finished, he might actually be able to uh, deal a lot of damage here. And we have Blink being front of out there, and he's got his fourth gateway up. Now, you usually only make three gateways. Uh, unless you're going to do some type of expand, so we may see uh, who you just go for an expand, get Blink Soccer, put the pressure on, and then throw, in a, throw up an expansion. Uh, Warp Gate Tech is finished, and uh, this probe actually is walling off, so he's going to go wall off, so this is not going to be an expand build, this is going to be an attack build. Who he uh, wants to seal the deal here, those Warp Gates are up and going. <laughs> His hotkeys, he loves, a ne he loves that hotkey for those Nexus, he's got that on 5 through 0. And now we have the fight coming out here. And uh, Hui, uh, looks like Sin is doing a really good job of controlling the vision, so he knows this is coming. He knows there's a really heavy stalker amount, and he's going to have to assume there are stalkers with Blink coming at this time in the game. Look, Blink finishing, boom, there it is, it's done. And he's going to go on the offensive. Now he's ready to go. He needs to put up a proxy pylon so he can warp in more and more stalkers. We have a lot of Zerglings coming out. Zergling speed is finished. Roach is no Roach speed yet. Uh, two spine crawlers being placed down. Uh, we're probably going to see no more drone production uh, for the rest of this game, I would say, uh, uh, depending on how this fight goes. But there are a lot of units coming out. Sin is now basically going to uh, make solely units at this point to fight off this harass. We've got a lot of Zerglings, so many Zerglings. I don't feel there's going to be enough stalkers to deal with this. 
blink down to the low ground. That's definitely what you're going to do in this map. Uh, Wild is doing a pretty good job affecting this. I don't think he's lost uh, any stalkers yet, but he's lost quite a few zerglings. We checked the units lost tab. Just one. That was 100. So that was that zealot. So he hasn't lost a single stalker yet. Blinking in more and more units. Uh, Harvester count 26 to 34. So, so Sin does have a little bit of a macro lead at this point. And he's really going to have to turn it out this game. If he wants to do it, he's got a hatchery. Upgrading two lair. Uh, spine crawler is pushing up to the front, getting a little bit better, better position. And uh, he really just wants to let these uh, spine crawlers take the damage. And uh, backing up just a little bit, but there are a lot of stalkers coming in. More and more stalkers coming in. He's kind of corona boosting out those warp gates, uh, making another pylon over there. And uh, is he going to try and go for this? And he's really dedicated to taking out this uh, this, this Zerg player. And. Uh, Folks are down killing that. No, he's just going to back up. Nice blinking in the back. Pretty decent uh, micro there. But no, no, Zergling's coming around in the back. He's going to be able to deal some damage before the blink cooldown is finished. And he's using quite a few stalkers so far. And uh, wow, Sin may actually fight this up. There's a lot of low life stalkers. Uh, Warping and moving down to the low ground. He needs to keep that high ground vision. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to shoot anything. Those roaches getting range up there. But oh no, blink back up and take out some more units. He does have three spine crawlers. He's going to have to produce. Uh, he's got burrow. He's got wheel reconstitution coming. Roach speed is going to be so critical. Critical in managing to survive this. Even throwing up a spore crawler, I'm not quite sure if that was a mistake or if he's just worried about DTs. I mean, he made a spore crawler instead of a spine crawler, or he could have just been worried about DTs. That's uh, something to consider considering. Uh, he already has the that uh, Twilight Council down here. But we have another attack coming on. This is really intense moment here for sending these to stay alive as long as possible because he does have the macro lead. You've seen uh, no more drones or uh, probes come from either player so far this game. And a Sinage is buying time until he can get those roaches up and going. You really want to have roaches uh, with speed to deal with these these stalkers. Blink is nice, but roach speed is definitely also very nice. Uh, coming to be just trying to beat these units back into this a little bit more of a concave, uh, then, or this a little bit more of a choke point than up here. He wants to stay away from these spine crawlers. And Sin, could, if he could do anything right now, he would get rid of this pylon. This pylon just bringing in so many reinforcements for uh, this Protoss player. Ooh. And uh, well, a lot of Zerglings coming out, doing some damage, blinking to the back. I don't know if it's going to be enough. No, he's falling back. Sin is kind of buying his time, uh, trying to bait this Protoss player back into these uh, spine collars as much as possible. Uh, just rearranging some spine crawlers. This one's a little bit low. He's going to hang out in the back. He's got two queens down here on the low ground. Another one here at the top, so he's got three queens. And pushing up now, he's going to try to focus on kill the spine crawler. Nope, it's not enough to kill it, but he's losing our stalkers. Actually, good, good blink, throw, blink micro. He's going to lose two, three, four, five. Looks like he's lost quite a few stalkers. Oh, no, he's not blinking anymore. And it looks like Sin is going to fight this back. Uh, no problem. That road speed is finished, so he's going to be able to run really quick, catch the stalkers, uh, bringing in some zealots. But no, <laughs> Sin just burrows. He's like, I'm tired. Took out that pylon. I beat you. Then he's popping back up. He wants to kill some more units. His stalkers do not pay attention. He's not blinking. And there he goes one. He's going to lose the second one. And uh, Zerglings Roaches. It looks like Sin is going to fight this off. Uh, he just bought enough time to get Roach Speed and Burrow. And uh, wow. As soon as he gets uh, Tunneling Claws, I think uh, our Protoss player is going to be in real trouble at this point. I think at this point he already is in pretty serious trouble. Uh, and now who he's forced to kill his own pylon. It's not going to be too much of a problem because he is uh, definitely... Not even close to getting supply blocked because uh, he lost so many of his forces. But you can see there, Sin played that off really well. He just kind of didn't overcommit to the attacks. He just attacked, attacked until the stalkers kind of blinked away. They used their blink and then he falls back. Because if they blink down the cliff, there's nothing you can really do about that. Uh, and he kept trying to bait them into the spine crawlers, letting the spine crawlers be effective, deal damage, take hits. Uh, smart move. Sin was just buying time. He knew that if. Uh, as soon as time went on, he would be going to build up more and more roaches. You get that roach speed upgrade, and then blink wouldn't be as effective. Because the roaches are faster than uh, stalkers are, uh, just movement speed. Blink is nice every once in a while, I get that little bit of a turbo in there. But uh, roaches on speed, uh, <laughs> roaches on speed, roaches on speed and creep are extremely fast. 3.9. That's crazy fast. Uh, he's going to lose his expansion. No, he needs to cancel it. Ah, he does cancel it. Good job, Sin. But now, uh, I don't know why who he's going for this another attack. Uh, he he really can't commit to this attack. There's so many roaches up there, and he's on creep. He's kind of doing a little house cleaning out here, taking out some zerglings, taking out that expansion, and falling back. That's a smart move. Don't commit any further, because Sin, I think, will just steamroll him. We've got Hydalisk out. They're actually going to be coming out pretty soon. We've got those Groove spine, spine upgrade coming, which, of course, will increase the range of those Hydalisk. Sin sending another drone out. I want to get that third up and going. Uh, and Hui is probably going to be uh, 
close to be mined out here pretty soon. It's kind of getting kind of sparse in his base there. Uh, Sin looking to get a gold base, and if he can hold that gold base, I think that's going to be pretty much game over. Huey is definitely dedicated to going one base this game. Massive number of stalkers. No attack upgrades yet, but uh, as soon as... We, oh, is he going to... Oh, I was going to say, if he walks on top of those roaches... Oh, he only sees the Zerglings. But at least he's just going to pressure him right now. Blink and run away. It's way too many units for him to deal with. Let's check the army cab real quick. 118 versus 67. Not good at all. Uh, Huey's falling back. He's trying to do a little bit of Blink, but there's so many roaches up there. Uh, and he's just pressuring. Look at this. this big swab of roaches is coming in here, taking out the Stalkers. Uh, every time Huey loses a Stalker, it's so much more important than when Sin loses a Roach because uh, he has the money. He's got that the macro backing it up and who is going to be out of money here pretty soon you can check his patches 300 on that one only about 115 left on that one so extremely low he's gonna and <laughs> the funny thing is he has burrow and who he isn't even close uh who he isn't even close to having type detection a uh, mobile detection that is and uh he's coming in with some zerglings hydralists with some damage to roaches and he's chasing him down now. Huey's going to have to get out of there. It's going to be too much for him to handle. He's going to have to fall back. He's going to let those shields regenerate. And Sin is going to just keep the pressure. Now, at this point, I would say Sin actually shouldn't be attacking right now. I think he should just be playing defensive and just scouting for an expansion. And the second he sees an expansion, go for the kill. And it looks like that's what he's going to do over here. He's just going to come in and look. Okay, is there an expansion? He's like, okay, I'm going to attack anyway. Uh... Sure, whatever. Uh, Probe's coming out doing some long distance mining or just uh, backing up those stalkers, literally. And he's falling back, roaches and hydras. And, oh, all burrowing. And they're just kind of hanging out there. <laughs> and those probes. Okay, who's going to go for an all in there? We've got the uh, uh, roaches and hydra popping up. They're going to go jump in from behind. But uh, I don't know if those are That's not going to be enough to deal with this. Huey's just kind of throwing everything he's got left at him. Uh, hydra, they're in the back. Look at all those probes dying. And he just burrows. <laughs> Sin has probably got his huge troll face on right now after that. He's just like, eh, <laughs> sticking his tongue out at him. The huge banana grin on his face. He's got to be loving this third game. And uh, Sin is just going to mop this up. Looks like Sin is going to win this 2-1 with uh, two very, very close games before this, I would say. Uh, but Sin single-handedly... Uh, Winning this third game, no problem. Even throwing up some more hatcheries all over the place. He loves those macro hatcheries. But that was a really good series. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I enjoyed casting it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me today. Uh, go ahead, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, check back. I'm going to be posting a couple tutorials coming up. Uh, so, check an eye on that on my YouTube page, youtube.com slash Thank you very much.